Hello friends, how are you doing? It is, let's see, Thursday, Thursday morning, and I have to apologize. I have been wanting to touch base with you guys, but I have been so, so busy, and I've got to run out again this morning, so I thought I'll just sit down before I run out and have a little chat with you. Let's catch up. So tell me, how have you all been? What have you guys been up to? How's the eating healthy going or perhaps exercising? What are you doing to improve your health? I would love to know. Honestly, I would love for you guys to inspire me. I need a kick in the, you know what? I had pizza last night. I, I am just struggling lately. It's, it's horrible and I've done so good. The, the good news is I'm not gaining any weight. I'm still losing even though I've fallen off the horse, so to speak, a couple times. But I'm not proud of myself. I'm not proud of myself. I really want to prove to myself that I have willpower. And I know I do. I was on this diet for literally two months straight without any kind of a cheat. So I know I can do it. it I just think it's summer and everybody's eating and hungry. And it gets me thinking. And see, this is, this is where psychology comes into play trying to watch your way and eat healthy it's a psychological mind game how many of you agree with me it completely is it's I terrible sometimes sit and think how did i get to this place because i never had an issue with my weight as a kid when i was in high school i always kept my weight within a five pound limit so if if i started to see it creep up on me i would never go past a five pound mark so i always kept my weight down and it's just after I had kids, it just skyrocketed. And then it just was a bunch of horrible eating habits, emotional eating. I think emotional eating is a big thing. Um, in my past, I had several people pass away and I think I turned to food for comfort. It, instead of dealing with my emotions, I ate, I ate my emotions. It, does that make sense? And sometimes tragedies drive people to cover that pain. You know what I mean? There's people that are alcoholics and they drink their sadness and their emotions away. There's people who have had tragedies in their life and they eat their emotions away. It's, it's a comfort thing. So I'm really trying to learn after all these years of bad habits, how to, when I go to that place where I want the food to comfort me, whatever it may be. I mean, I will eat because I'm happy. I will be, eat because I'm sad. I will eat because I'm mad. I will eat because I'm bored. How many of you can relate with me? I don't know. I just, it's, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. And you know, people who make fun of overweight people, shame on them because we all have different genetics, genetic makeups, we all have different things that have happened in life. And there's those of us who also just create bad habits and trying to break them is the tough part. And that is sort of what I'm going through. Um, I'm not gonna beat myself up because I think I'm doing excellent. I mean, my clothes are literally falling off of me. I'm doing good. So falling off the horse, I'm not gonna rake myself over the coals for it. But at the same time, it's a mental note to myself hey, you know what? We've got to change that habit. You know, you can't just eat when you're bored. You can't, you can't eat when you're happy and everybody's around eating and you just want to partake. You know, you, I've got to learn to create better habits for myself. Makes and sense? talking about psychological mind games, oftentimes those, those of us that struggle with, with weight and eating our emotions, we make excuses for ourselves. I know I have definitely done that over the years. Well, everybody was eating pizza, so I wanted to have a piece of pizza. Oh, well, I'll start tomorrow, you know, that kind of thing. And then when you do that, uh, the weight starts to creep up on you. Before you know it, you're like, oh my gosh, how did I gain those 10 pounds? Now, for me, I noticed that my weight really started to creep up on me after the loss of my mother. Uh, see, and it affects me to this day. I could start crying over it right now. Um, but she was my rock. She was my best friend. She was my everything. She was always the person I called when I 
had questions about something, I just wanted to chat, something exciting happened, she was my go-to. And she suffered a long battle with cancer and it was so hard to watch someone you love, you know, wither away. And I watched her pass away and take her last breath. I'm gonna start crying. And it just, it did something to me. And after that point, I just ate. And it's just been a struggle over these and years. And then my father passed away. Um, so I, it's just weird to go through life being parentless and have your family dynamics change. So yeah, that's that's been rough. Anyway, so with that said, you know, psychological games come into play. And that's why I, I get really, really upset when uh, there are people that come on and they just leave comments or, and they say, you're fat. And I just think to myself, wow, I just can't believe people are so cruel these days. You know, it's so, uh, I don't know. It's like, yeah, tell me something I don't already know. I look at myself every day in the mirror and that's, that's the other funny thing. Um, I see myself with rose colored glasses. I think I'm a skinny legend when I look in the mirror. I know that sounds funny. Um, and then when I go to the mall and I try on clothes and I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh my gosh, the three way mirror doesn't lie, you know? And that's when reality really sets in for me. But yeah, I, I, I tend to look at myself with rose colored glasses, you know? I fix my hair, do my makeup every single day. I get showered, cleaned up, ready to go. I always feel good about myself for the most part until I look at myself in a three-way mirror or I see myself in full-length pictures and I'm like, that's not I have you. security cameras all the way around our house. And um, the last couple months since starting this diet, I would look on the cameras and I would see myself and I would go, that's how I really look? Oh my gosh. So I told my husband, I said, every time I'm out there, I'm gonna check the cameras to see how I'm transforming. Because the last, um, I don't know, last month I was just, that's not me, no, that is not me. Is that how I really look, you know, kind of thing? And uh, the last couple times I've looked, I'm like, okay, okay, I'm starting to slim down. I'm looking better. So, you know, I'm going in the right direction is what I'm trying to say. And it's a, it's a process. And for me and some, it will be a very long process. And that's okay. That's okay. You know, we have to live and learn. And that's what I'm experiencing right now. It's taken me, it's taken me several years to kind of figure this out. But I really, truly believe that your weight, it, it all starts up here because the mind is what triggers the gut and awful habits. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to touch base on that. And if you're like me, don't beat yourself up if you fall off the if you fall off your your eating program or whatever, and you splurge for a day. You know, just get back at it. That's so what I'm you guys. To say. I can't even find my scale, so I wanted to give you an update. Last time I went to the doctor, I was down 35 pounds, but I haven't been to the doctor, so I have no idea where I'm at, but I will show you how bag baggy my clothes are fitting. So this is a tank top. Look how big it is. Like it's gotten really big. This is big, you know, and then my legs, my jeans are starting to get baggy on me. So work in progress I will tell you at my largest i was in a size 18 jeans i am so not proud of that but that's the truth i will tell you i am almost in a size 10 so i just i can't believe it i cannot believe i've dropped that many sizes that fast so i will tell you the aip diet is amazing for Eating healthy, you know, training you yourself to eat healthy, get rid of all the processed sugars, the processed foods, eating clean whole foods, getting rid of the bread and dairy. It, it's so good for you. 
And once you start eating that way, the weight really does start falling off. And um, so I cannot say enough good things about this diet. And once you get going, it, it's really not that hard. I know a lot of people are like, I don't know if I could not eat bread or dairy or not have cream in my coffee. Hey, if I can have a banana chino, I'm a cream girl. Um, anybody can. And I will tell you, I, I am loving the banana chino. I'll try to put an I card there for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I mean, I'm doing really good. Now, I know a lot of you will say you can't have coffee on AIP. Uh, coffee is not a trigger for me. And so my naturopathic doctor said, go ahead, have only one cup, but no dairy. Absolutely no dairy. And I said, okay, I can do that. I can do that because this girl needs her caffeine And in the here we are in the thick of summer. It is hot, hotter than Hades, humid, like you would not believe. And your girl is wearing, you know, sleeves. So my goal is by the end of summer to be able to wear some short sleeves. That would just make my day. These arms haven't seen the light of day in years. And I'm, it, I can't even tell you how many years. My legs have not even seen the light of day because I won't wear shorts until I get my legs looking good. Um, I'm very, very modest that way. So that's a goal. It, the day I can wear short sleeve shirts and, and my goal is looking ahead to fall. I want to be wearing some, I'm a jean girl. So I love jeans and all different styles and colors and all that. My goal is to get in some really cute tight jeans for fall with some really cute boots and a really cute sweater where I'm not wearing my big shirts. You know, they're a little more fitted. That's my goal. But Regardless, I've always been sort of a modest person, but something that's, a, you know, an outfit that's a little more, I like to wear flowy shirts, you know, I just feel more comfortable in them. So by fall, if I could get myself in a cute sweater with some cute jeans and some really cute fall boots, that will make my day. So if you guys could set a fall goal, what would it be? What would it look like? I would love to know. I, I need some inspiration, you know? You guys inspire me too, you know. What More this video you know. is really about is, if you're struggling with your weight, really, really take some time and ask yourself, what is it that's triggering you to want to eat? You know, or is it boredom? Is it your emotions? Is it something that may have happened to you that, that triggers you to eat or that makes you feel comforted when you eat? I don't know. You know, ask yourself that and then maybe try to work through things like that. That's, I think it's so important. Mental health and psychological games are so important. If you're going Literally to have to work through these things every single day of my life, I will be sitting with the family and someone says, oh, let's go to, there's a place in town. It's called Moo Through. It is an ice cream place. It is so good. They put a marshmallow sauce over the ice cream and cherry. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And the family will say, oh, you know what sounds good? And I'm like, what, what sounds good? They say, moo through. And I'm like, why did they have to put that in my head? Why did they have to throw that out? And I literally have to sit there fighting myself. Here's the good list, here's the bad list. The good list is like, no, 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 you're doing great. Don't even think about it. And bad Liz, Evil Liz is over there going, oh, you know you want that. You're, you're not gonna pass on that. Go ahead, go ahead, get that. It'll be so good. That marshmallow sauce is to die so for. All of you out there that are struggling, just know you're not alone. You're not alone and we can all get through this together. It may take some time, but we will get there. And that's the important part, to stay positive. Like I said, even if you fall off the wagon, you know, get yourself right back up and get at it, you know, and slowly but surely we'll create good hab eating habits, good psychological habits where we recognize when things are starting to creep back and, you know, eat at us and say, I'm over that. Go away. I'm not going to do it. Not going to eat. Not going to 
sink my emotions into food. And I'm not everybody who is overweight is eating their emotions away. I'm not saying that at all. I'm speaking for myself only. There are also people with serious medical conditions where, you know, they can eat a salad and they put pack on weight. It's just, we are, we are all, we all have different genetic makeups. We all have different lifestyles. We all have different life events that have happened that can trigger us. So it's just a whole slew of things. So, but recognizing what is your trigger, work on it. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'd like to hear from you guys as well about what you would like to see in this channel. Do you want to see just straight up recipes and cooking? Do you want to see me in the videos cooking and prepping my meals? Do you want health updates? Do you want, I, I just wanna know what would you guys like to see? What would make you happy? I know some people say they love the recipes, but they would like to see me in the video as well. Cause I, the last couple ones, I just did straight up videos of what, I, what it was I was eating. And uh, some of you left me comments saying, hey, I would like to see you in the video. So do you want me to mix it up or I just, Give me some ideas. I would love, I, I don't want to get political on this channel, but also too, I'd like to touch base on just things that are going on in this world. You know, there's a lot of, um, I'm a Christian. I see a lot of spiritual warfare going on in this world that I'm not happy about. It really upsets me when I turn on the news and I hear certain things, I see certain things. Um, that sometimes trigger me, triggers me to want to go run to the fridge because I'm just, pardon my French, I get good and pissed off when I put put the news on and I'm like, are you kidding me? That I, you know, there's just so much craziness going on. And then we had the whole pandemic and everybody was stuck home and wearing masks and this and that and the other. It was just, it's been a lot this last year for a lot of people and people losing loved ones. And it's just, what I'm trying to say is if you're like me and you put the news on and you get upset about it, um, we definitely have to find ways to try to stay positive and pray, be in prayer about the state of our world and what's going on. Cause that can be a trigger as well. Trust me, it's been a trigger. So I, I'm going to be completely candid and honest with you guys. And I, part of me is like, Liz, they don't want to hear this stuff, you know, just keep it positive. But the news thing, seeing a lot of stuff that's going on has, just really, really upset me to the court. And I've been to the doctor to, to talk about, you know, here I am thinking something medically wrong is wrong with me because I'm losing hair, a little bit of my eyelashes, of course, my eyebrows. And you know what the doctors have said? They're like, it's stress. It's, it's stress. You've got to find a way to deal with stress. So if you're like me, you know, we have to just, get into prayer about the things that we see that we cannot control and just pray about it. So anyway, I just had to throw that out there. I'm just, I wanna be an open, honest book with you guys. And I'm in doing so, I'm gonna talk about my struggles with my weight and those are things that trigger me. So, but we're working on them, work in progress. So I've gotta head out the door. My daughter's doing the behind the wheel. So I've gotta go take her and she's gonna hit the road and she's trying to get her license. So we've been doing that all this week and I've gotta do it again next week. So I'm just trying to squeeze this video in in between my decorating channel and just dealing with summer family and life. <laughs> but anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. I hope, I hope this video helps, even if it just helps one person, maybe somebody that is also struggling just like I am. Um, to know you're not alone, number one, and to let you know we can do this. We're going to get through it. All right, guys, I will see you soon. Mwah! I love you all.